Here we're looking at box elder or Manitoba maple. It's in the family Sapindaceae in the genus Acer and the specific epithet is Nagundo. So Acer Nagundo. This is actually a maple. So let's take a look at some of its identifying characteristics. The older bark on box elder has irregular patterns and furrows, ridges, not particularly deep, and I think it has sort of an ashen gray color and then maybe darkens up. Younger bark might have a little bit of orange, which you can see a little bit here, and will be smoother with less uh, furrows or ridges. Box elders are a maple, and you can see buds here that are oppositely arranged on the twig, as with leaves opposite to each other on the twig. The leaves on this box elder are fairly small, they typically are a bit larger, and they're the only pinnately compound maple native to North America. Here we only see two, but it wouldn't be uncommon to see up to five, maybe seven leaflets. So remember, these are individual leaflets, and this is a rachis going all the way up. Twigs on box elder can be green or kind of a purplish color. If they're more shaded, they'll be green, and in full sun they might be purplish. Underneath the petiole hides the bud. And the bud you can see here, just starting, is a little green, but it'll be a white color. And so that little structure right there is a hidden bud underneath the petiole. While this box elder does not have any fruit on it, the fruit of a box elder are samaras, a paired and winged samara. Here you can get a sense of the size and shape of box elder, typically a medium tree, often growing where people don't want them, and so have a bit of a weedy tendency. It definitely has an irregular shape and can be a pretty decent landscape tree if it's maintained.